Before we begin, click subscribe to stay up to date with all of our newest video content. Today's tip from CS3 Technology is how to create a drill down generic inquiry in Acumatica ERP. GIs are used lots of places in the system, including as the underpinning of most of the objects you find on a dashboard. Here you see a fairly simple dashboard showing open receivables and payables. A basic generic inquiry has built in default navigation for some of the fields. You can see when I click on the customer ID, a window pops up with the customer maintenance screen on it. The same thing happens for vendors on the payables list that I have. When you look at the customer receivables generic inquiries definition, you see that I didn't do anything special. In the results grid, the default navigation is checked as the default for all of the columns in the GI. Not all of them actually have built-in navigation processes defined out of the box, but some do, and you get that navigation without doing anything special. This check mark is what makes the customer window pop open. If I uncheck it, save the GI, and view it, notice that the customer no longer shows a link and when I click it, nothing happens. But what I want to happen when I click the customer ID is not have the customer maintenance screen open, but I want to see a list of all the invoices that make up this open balance. This is the drill down navigation that I want to show you. First we go back into edit mode. And when we look at the navigation tab, we see that there's a screen defined. Now this is a generic inquiry that I built and shows all open invoices. And even though we have this screen defined, it's not doing anything yet. We're going to fix that in a second. But what this says is we have a screen defined and we have parameters that we're passing to that screen so that when we navigate to it, we're going to filter based on customer ID. So one more thing we need to do, and that is to come back to the customer ID, take off the default navigation, and select our linked screen to get our details, where we will pass the customer ID to the detail screen as a filter, as a parameter for the filter where we will pass the customer ID to the detail screen as a parameter for the filter. Save it and view it. And now we have a link and an open balance of 484,000. When we click this link, we see the two invoices that make up that total. Notice there's a filter called drill down that's created automatically through our navigation process. Back on our dashboard, we're going to change the open payables similarly. We'll edit the generic inquiry, map the navigation to our detail open bills screen, the generic inquiry that we built, pass it the vendor ID as a parameter, change our vendor ID from the default navigation to our detail screen that we've created. Save it. And now here on the <clears throat> here on the dashboard we need to do a refresh to take to get the new version of the vendor payable screen available and then when we click on our vendor we'll see a drill down filtered list of our open payables for this vendor. That's it this time. You can see it's pretty simple to change the default navigation for your generic inquiries to provide drill down capability. Was this video helpful? Click subscribe to see more videos like this one.